WTFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with your mid-afternoon update. We've got green everywhere, boys and girls. There's only two sections of the commodity markets that are down. That is hogs and cattle. The rest of it is all strong. Gold is strong. Silver is strong. Bonds are strong. Stocks are strong. And everything is long. And we've had a heck of a run here with the Dow up almost 700 points. It just missed it by heartbeat at one time. Sold off very slightly here, but still acting very uh, strong on the day. Even Treasury bonds have made a 61.8% correction of the high that we made way back at 132. So that's a very, very important number to hit. They're now trading at 129.05. That number was 129.13, and that was the high of the day so far, but that's not much of a, sh a shot to take it above that. So the green lights are still on for risk. And I'm going to make a statement here. If we close above 4,000 in the E mini S&P, we got to uh, 39. Uh, no, we got, yeah, we got to 3904. But if we should happen to close above 30, excuse me, 4,000 in the S&P, I will suggest that we're going to be looking up for a considerable length of time, at least four or five more weeks. And the reason I say that is because the NASDAQ, it's also shown signs of a possibility of reviving because it made a lower low of this move early this morning when the jobs report came out and then shortly thereafter exploded to the upside and has made a 61% retracement of that whole move down. So any strength above that would be highly suggestive that it's going to pull the S&P, the Dow Jones and others up with it. So that's a very, very interesting one you know, to take a look at. Yesterday, we had a really nice guest on, uh, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. And by golly, he had a nice pro projection that crude oil was probably getting ready to rally. And sure enough, it's been rallying uh, ever since for the past, uh, you know, $2, uh, $2 a barrel. So that was fun having him on. We'll have him on again shortly. He's got a lot of experience and his specialty, among others, is the energy complex. So just remember, folks, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And be sure to do things for your neighbors, even if it's not the Christmas holiday. Try to do things for them, because they need it, and some of them need it badly. 